Hey, hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 4 on creating mobile web applications using jQuery mobile. So guys, in this particular video, we're going to build one more class that actually going to take care of all of our surveys. So guys, before we get started creating the class or before we get started writing any functions, let's go ahead and actually read the comments that I received on the website at the time I got this particular request. So guys, this is a very huge conversation. If you want, you can read it uh, by searching for, uh, I would say, an article called CRUD Management Training. And out there on the bottom, you're gonna, you know, find this entire conversation. So guys, out here, you know, I have been told what this actual <clears throat> survey form gonna contain. So here it says it's, it's actually gonna be like a checklist where we're gonna have an inspector name so we can probably you know put it dynamically uh, every time a user gonna log in we're gonna have their credentials so we can you know actually pre-fill this particular field uh, the next thing gonna be you know whether a shop have been inspected or not so for that we're gonna have you know a kind of an input select box or we can have a checkbox that actually are I would say choice uh, the next thing gonna be you know an issues found or not so let me do one thing let me open a notepad out here so I'm gonna say uh, we need to capture the username uh, we need to find out to inspect it okay whether it's true or false uh, the next thing I'm gonna say uh, issues found yes or no and if they have been found we're gonna you know have a kind of a text area to leave any comments so guys and the final thing was you know uh, taking uh, I would say uh, you know pictures from the mobile camera so I would say it's not possible with plain jQuery mobile we can do it quite easily with phone gap but as uh, you know that actually gonna you know uh, divert your entire I would say attention away from jQuery mobile so I'm not gonna do anything with images for now so I would say these are the only four I would say things that we require in order to set up our survey form so I'm gonna close this particular tab uh, I'm gonna go back to the core folder here I'm gonna create one more class I'm gonna say class call manage uh, survey let's say okay that would be fine survey.php uh, here I'm gonna say PHP I'm gonna say class call manage survey like this uh, guys inside it I'm gonna copy it so I'm gonna copy the construct function with our protected variable called dollar link like this guys next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say function uh, let's say add survey <coughs> and with it we need the person who actually took the survey uh, then we need inspected uh, inspected out here then I'm gonna say issues and then I'm gonna say dollar and they're gonna be let's say a kind of comments here and I'm gonna you know keep it to no like uh, it's not mandatory every time if you're gonna pass in that's fine otherwise leave it the way it is so and guys here uh, I'm gonna say dollar query gonna be equal to dollar this link prepare like again guys we are inserting something so we're gonna you know use the prepare statements so here I'm gonna say or you know what uh, do not leave it to null let's keep the comments to be mandatory uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you later why I'm actually doing it uh, here I'm gonna say uh, insert into um, let's call our table name called survey and here I'm gonna say we need the username we need inspected true or false we need issues found or not we need some comments we need the IP address the actually you know use in order to make a submission or probably we can get date and we get time too uh, here I'm gonna say dollar values uh, they're gonna be uh, dollar or probably gonna be a caution mark that's my bad so here I'm gonna say one two three four five six seven seven values again so here I have five six and seventh one so plus uh, we need to you know pass in the IP address as a parameter we're gonna pass in the time as a parameter and we're gonna pass in the date as a parameter too so it's gonna be like this okay <clears throat> here I'm gonna say dollar values they're gonna be an array of all the parameters we're gonna receive 
So I'm going to copy it from here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Next thing I'm going to say dollar query execute and they're going to be dollar values and here I'm going to say dollar row count going to be dollar query how many rows have been affected we're going to get that and we're going to return that so here I'm going to say return dollar row count I believe all done with add survey in the same way we need to list surveys as well so here I'm going to say <coughs> Uh, let's say an ID or I would say survey ID like this okay here I'm gonna say if is set dollar survey ID like if there is you know any survey ID then we're gonna you know pull up everything related to that otherwise we're gonna you know uh, pull up related to something else uh, next I'm gonna say else statement and here uh, I'm gonna say no or you know what guys uh we can do one more thing you know it's gonna confuse you a bit but again you know it's gonna make this particular function a lot flexible so here i'm gonna say parameter here i'm gonna say perm and that's actually gonna be equal to null so let's say guys uh, again this parameter gonna be an array so how this array gonna be as uh, it's gonna be something like array id equals to 10 okay or it can be like array uh, username equals to John okay or let's say if I want to pull anything related to let's say array date equals to uh, let's say 2012 so guys no matter whether a user want to pull it against an ID no matter they want to pull it against a username no matter they want to pull it against a date so we can use the single function to get everything related to whatever they want so if they want it you know against a date they're gonna pass in an array with a key to key to date that's actually gonna be our field name and the value to whichever value they want to pull uh, I would say result <coughs> uh, I would say for so if they want it for username they're gonna you know pass in the key as the field name and they're gonna pass in the value as the actual value so you know it's gonna make this particular function a lot flexible uh, at you know at the time of getting data so here I'm gonna say if is it dollar param like this I'm gonna say for each dollar param as dollar key dollar value okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say dollar query and that gonna be equal to dollar this link query here I'm gonna say select all from survey where dollar key is equals to dollar value okay I believe that's all and we can copy this function we can paste it here we can remove the where clause here I can say order by ID descending and we can also do the same thing out here on the top like you know show uh, the latest one on the top every time so like it here <clears throat> finally uh, you know outside this particular if and else statements uh, I'm gonna say dollar row count gonna be equals to dollar query uh, I would say row count okay here I'm gonna say uh, if dollar row count is greater than or equals to one that means we like we do got some results I'm gonna say dollar result gonna be equals to dollar query fetch all so they're actually gonna be an array of everything we got from the database else dollar result uh, gonna be equal to zero okay finally I'm gonna say return dollar result I believe that's all for list survey in the same way I'm gonna say edit survey and here I'm gonna say you know survey uh, ID and here I'm, again I'm gonna say parameters Okay. like the way we did for the edit user thing so if you 
if I want I can you know actually copy it and I can paste it here <coughs> and I have to you know say survey ID here for users uh, I have to say survey and I believe we are done and finally in the same way I can say delete a survey survey and here I'm gonna say in order to delete it all we need is survey ID so here and now I'm gonna go back to manage users I'm gonna copy everything from the function called delete users and I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna remove user ID with survey ID and I'm gonna remove users with survey so guys I believe that's all for this particular class also so guys uh, I believe that's all we need with our I would say PHP classes in the next video we're gonna focus more on jQuery mobile instead of PHP so I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye